What is up guys, my name is Zua from Jeva. Today I'm going to be uh, going into drawing text on your server. Not really drawing, but that's what that logo is called. It's going to be just outputting text on your screen, just static. And we're also going to be drawing a rectangle. Uh, so we'll make like a little banner design I already have. You can find the code on GitHub, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm in my server folder here, going to go to the CFX server data master and uh, go into resources. And the right click let's create a new resource we're gonna be calling text you should be familiar with creating a resource now as we've done it in the past two episodes if you haven't seen those go check it out uh, links in the description or you can just check out our channel so let's create our um, delete that sorry about that let's create our thing our resource dot Lua I'm gonna make sure file ex name extensions are on right click and uh, do that two underscores resource dot Lua Let's create another one called um, text client. A little C at the end, good practice. I recommend you do it. So I'm going to be opening up the resource.lua, and in here, we're going to be, here, I'll zoom this in for you guys. In here, we're going to be uh, making the client script um, text c.lua, that's what we call it right there. Now we're going to be opening up the text c.lua, and uh, in here, we're going to be writing the code for this. So, um, First, uh, what we're going to be doing is putting this all in a thread in a while while true um, loop. So it's constant. This text is always ran on our screen for every frame. So let's let's start up with writing that loop. Citizen. It's a citizen. Dot create thread. And I'm making that a function. Function. Hopefully I spelled that right. Okay. And then end. In here, we're going to be um, we're going to be using the uh, while true loop. So while true do so while while true, basically what well, what this loop is, it means it's constantly running, running like as when you're on a server as client. So um, if this condition that's the, that's in the uh, while loop, this condition is true, then it will run it. Um, it'll run constantly. So um. It, it, essentially you can do if one is or when one is greater than zero that's every time no number or this will always be happening nothing can change that unless you make it change it but it's just like that so it's every time every yeah okay sorry so uh, now make it not crash we we'll do citizen dot wait uh, let's give it five milliseconds every time so it looks static and it looks good um then this the draw text um Native needs a lot of things to make it actually work. So for the first, first one, we're going to do set text font. Uh, this goes to one. You know, this is how you write comments to two hyphens, or you could do um, this. I have code blocks like that. So yeah, this goes to one through four. You can test them out. This is a lot of guess and check. So um, when you test out the position of where you want the text, you're going to have to be testing it a lot. So I'm gonna do zero because that's a basic one. Uh, you're gonna need set text scale, and that will be. Um, I have these numbers already um, assigned during testing, so we can just go through the process. But if you were to do this on your own, you'd usually want to test out how it all works out, and hopefully this video can give you a sense of that. So now the next one is um, set. Oh, this is by the way, this is X and Y. I like to or the scale, um, length and width, something like that. I like to keep those the same so it doesn't look all warpy. That's what that even does. Uh, so the next one we're going to do is set text color. And this is where I, I really like what people do here. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do some good things with it besides just inputting the numbers. I think it's good that that's a good practice to write it in a uh, key value pair kind of variable. So I'm going to be making a variable local color. Color count is equal to... Um, in curly brackets and uh, R is going to be equal to something this is this accepts an RGB um, RGBA parameters so four parameters R B um, G and then a the last one doesn't have a comma so the R value and then the, these all accept I'll show you how this works so first I have these all assigned already it's two four seven um, two two three and 
88. I have I I was doing this during testing, and uh, this is just a easy, so we don't have to spend that much time testing. So, in here to actually access these variables, uh, you do um, color dot r comma color dot um, dot b dot comma color dot. I'll space these out for you guys just so you don't get confused. Um, color dot g comma color dot a a usually just means like uh, the opacity and we're just gonna keep that to the max so we can see it with no transparency so that's that um, now we're gonna meet we're gonna need a set text entry which is basically just the type entry and uh, usually you just put string here string in all caps string and then um, what you do here is this is where you put the String itself add text component string and then uh, it accepts one parameter. So you can call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it my epic silver. Yeah, epic. Um, and then you're gonna want to actually draw the text. So this accepts two parameters and it's the x and y on your screen. Uh, so draw text the x value. So it's, it's it's a lot of guess and check like I said you're, you're going to do this by yourself you're going to need to constantly restart and start your resources just to test and see where it goes so this is it goes from here if you see my little cursor right here it goes from the right to down so as you increase the X and Y values so the, this is probably the smallest one so it'll be on the top left of my screen and it's small so it'll be you'll see we're making a banner with a rectangle and um, I like to it's good to comment your code, by the way. So I'm gonna comment this and call this the uh, text. And then uh, down here, we're going to comment out and say rectangle. God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so the draw rectangle is accepts a lot of parameters, so it can get easily complicated. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So draw rect. And then uh, this, you're gonna want the x value, which is different from this. Um, I think it's the length. And then your width, 100 pixels, or it's not that. It's, it's definitely not that. This is your. I forgot. I got it mixed up. This is your x and y, and this is your uh, length and width. Or this is your width. So 3.2, and then this is your height. So 0 0.0, 0 0.05. So this is gonna be really long but skinny. So on, it'll be like a little banner on the top while your text is right here, if we can pull it off correctly without any errors. Uh, and then I already have my RGB values here, 66, 134, uh, 244, and then 245. So yeah, that's this part is RGBA. And then uh, yeah, that, that, that should work. Um, make sure to, uh, before we execute it, go back to your thing where resources.cfg add start text I have this started from the debugging um, start text and uh, I'll be I'll see you guys in the server all right uh, another mistake here it's not set text color it's set text color whatever that means uh, it, you can't have color it, it, this is how you spell it and uh, yeah so in my server here restart uh, call it text and uh, yeah we have our little banner here so right here is our text and there goes the banner with the correct RGBA values so um, if I were to change this string right here it'd be um, my let's call it uh, hey guys and then restart with the text it'll say hey guys and uh, yeah that's how, that's basically how you draw rectangles draw text on your server uh, I just want to show you what the citizen weight does um, so uh, if, if I were to make it every 1,000 uh, or 1,000 milliseconds, one second, it'll be a little jittery. Like you can see that every second it's going to run it that frame. So um, just wanted to show you that's what that means. If I were to make it citizen, if I were to just get rid of it, it would crash my game. And uh, let's do that. Uh, yeah, so it it did crash it. Uh, that's why it's really important to have that citizen that wait and put like a milliseconds there uh, Just so it doesn't crash and uh, yeah, it's not really responding. So have a good one guys. Sorry about that little mistake I make a lot of mistakes uh, and uh, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe join our discord for fast support and uh, Yeah, thank you for thank you for guys for watching